Yesterday's ride through Yellowstone was great. We had a lot of fun. Some of the fun included a one-sided snowball fight between Jim and Chuck, a raven that was actually pulling open the zipper on one of Mark's bags, and a precarious ride down a very muddy road in a construction zone. I had a slight advantage over the guys on that one. This morning I would be parting ways with Jim, Mark, and Chuck. They would head east toward Pennsylvania, and I would head south back to Colorado. It was cold and wet with temperatures in the mid to lower 30s, and I was concerned about the roads icing over, but I'd never taken this route before and it was full of beautiful scenery which helped keep my mind off the frigid temperatures. With the weather getting wetter and the temperature dropping down to 33 degrees, I was getting even more concerned about the roads icing up. Yesterday's slower speeds riding through Yellowstone made the cold temperatures bearable. Today, at highway speeds, the wind chill was about 14 degrees. Good thing. It's cold. I decided to put on my brand new heated jacket liner that I tested twice before I left on this trip. It didn't work. This morning I was greeted with drier roads, but the cold temperatures would follow me all the way home today.
Most of my rides are in sweltering heat, where I usually dread sitting at stop signs or red lights, anxious to get moving again to keep the air flowing around me so I can cool down. This trip was proving to be just the opposite. I couldn't wait for any reason to slow down so I could feel the tips of my fingers or toes again. But in this part of the country, stop signs and traffic lights are few and far in between. The following day, many parts of the Denver area received over 8 inches of snow. It was a fitting way to end another fantastic motorcycle adventure.